address Grant's question directly. The town is not paying for any of the testing on EBS. Any of the testing that's being discussed is the parcel between at 444 and 448, just for perfect clarity. Um, I want to talk about the purchase and sale agreement. Um, I asked last week, and it was said that we would discuss it this week. For a I'm sorry, so I can clarify. Go ahead. Nope, I'll let you talk. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just going to say we were we were waiting. We can't sign this without sign off from the state on the final paperwork for the grant. So, yes. Well, I'll get to that later, too. Um, mm -hmm. It's an important issue. I mean, listed in that agreement, time is of the essence in the performance of this agreement. It's stated right in there. And we have now had 10 days pass, and we haven't even discussed it. And I understand that negotiations happen, and not everyone can be in them. And this is what was presented on April 1st. Just to kind of recap for anybody who hasn't been paying attention, purchase price is listed at 160, it was appraised at 135. The state agreed we can pay over the market value. We, as the town, are going to pay up to $10,000 in legal fees for the seller, which at the Board of Select and Board of Finance meeting, the town attorney admitted that that is unusual. Also, in there are additional legal fees for environmental law advice. On the seller's behalf. I believe uh, it was a question mark before, but I have been told that the twenty up to twenty thousand dollars for environmental consulting fees, which is a phase two reimbursement of the seller, which we just approved to spend another twenty thousand dollars to do our own phase two testing. Part of that is our part of that is EMS building. I'm making that clear. Part of it is for that same property. $30,000, $2,500 a month for a construction licensing agreement. And while I understand, yes, we need to put construction equipment somewhere, it, it seems excessive. Not included in that, that total is $225,410. Not included in that is the stipulation that we have to restore the property. We're keeping those construction trailers on. That's not just restoring it to the current state. We're adding trees, we're adding a stone wall, and we're improving it. Now, I understand we need this property. Let me preface the fact with I support the AMS project. I think it needs to be done. It is imperative. It is a mess, the building in the current state. This is not about the project. This is about the process and how we got here. We identified last fall that we were staying on that location, in that building, and we were going to renovate it. We submitted for a grant to try to help pay for the cost of this and do land work. There was an email in October and November that references a purchase agreement. Clearly, there was nothing binding in place. There was nothing binding in there. But yet, nothing was done, and we didn't get anything concrete until April 1st or 2nd, whatever the date was. So the fact that we're now talking about timing and up against deadlines and we need to do this and everything needs to be done, the ball was dropped so many times over the last six months in getting this done. We could have had a signed agreement with him last fall. We should have had a signed agreement with him well before this point in time. But yet here we are discussing, not even discussing, I'm discussing because it's not on our agenda, a purchase and sale agreement that in the end, we're gonna end up paying nearly $100,000 to the seller over the value of that property. And my opinion is that's irresponsible on the town's behalf. While some of those are justified costs, a lot of them, uh, I mean, kudos to the seller's attorney. That's, <laughs> he did a great job of getting everything in there. But I think from a town perspective, this is not a good agreement. And the fact that we were up against this deadline is because there was no progress made over all of this time. Even with grant submissions and applications and various other things, we never locked in a price. We never locked in a deal with contingencies, as you stated, to get this property, which we knew was essential to this project. And now we're just supposed to say, okay, well, I mean, it is what it is. We need it because we gotta get this the ball moving. There are other options. There have to be other options. It is not in my, I can't, in my obligation of looking out for the best interest of the town, say, yeah, I support this purchase and sale agreement as drafted. I can't. I think it's irresponsible. I think it is, I don't know. I don't know how we got here, but 
this is where we are. And again, it's not a commentary on the project. It is not at all. It's in the process of how we got here. And the fact that we just went through the budget process. We go through every town budget, every town department, every line item nearly, and we scrutinize and where can we save some, the town some money here? Where can we save the town some money there? And here we are, we're gonna spend an extra $100,000 on a property that we're already overvalued at. In terms of the grant, I understand we're waiting on final approval from the state. That leads to my next question. Why are we still waiting on that? We got the packet in February, which clearly says on page one and two, these are the documentation that needs to be submitted and this needs to be signed. And that clearly wasn't submitted. It was sat on, it was waited. And if you wanna use the argument, we were waiting for the town meeting to formally accept it, you know, we could have submitted the paperwork to the state and if the town meeting voted it down, we could have withdrawn that. But we didn't submit anything. And here we are, delayed again, because we don't have the final sign off on the state to pay for this. I mean, the grant pays for the 160. The grant pays for the, I think the 8,000 down deposit or whatever it is. But where's the other money coming from? We don't know that yet. We haven't laid that out. That hasn't been made clear. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Um, yeah. It's just, it's frustrating. It is absolutely, and again, I want to go back to it's not about the project, it's about the process and how we got here, and how our responsibility is to look out for the town's best interest. And the town's best interest <clears throat> is to do everything openly and by the book and by the right process. And it feels that we're not doing that. It just has that feeling that Oh wait, the building committee spent money. Oh wait, they didn't. Now we have the full amount of money. And I understand that things happen and things get misallocated, but again, it feels like there's something, it's not being completely transparent. It's not being open. And I think that that's unfortunate for everyone because the end result is we're sitting here talking about a building project that we all support, but yet there's negative comments being made on various reasons. But I think it is because everyone has that feeling that there's something else going on. And how can you not, I mean, you can't fault them for that. Okay. So I just, when we get the chance to discuss the purchase and sale agreement, which I don't know when we're going to do that, um, I, I don't think that it's a responsible decision to support it. And I wish we could go back and renegotiate it, especially in regards to this phase two testing, that we're going to double pay we're testing now. And I understand the council's recommendation was that we could accept the peer review, but the building committee decided no, we want to go ahead and do it. Why? To appease some of the concerns and the fears that we've heard mentioned over and over again. So I, I think it deserves to be revisited, at least on that level, and if not the other issues as well. And in regards to the ARPA funds, the Board of Finance, and again, that's a whole other issue, is the allocation of the ARPA funds. But Board of Finance has talked about other things. It is on the radar. Whether it goes to EMS, whether it doesn't go to EMS, I think Board of Finance is well aware of the deadlines and is not going to let that go to waste and is not going to rush something through just to make it happen. That I agree on. Yeah. 